Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. In this video, we'll be focusing mainly on this area of the map near Sacramento, and I think today is going to be the video where we try to figure out how we're going to get the rest of the resources that the city needs up on top of this huge sort of hill mountainside that we have right in front of us. So with Sacramento being probably one of our hardest to reach cities on the map, getting the rest of its cargo demands to this sort of flat area up on top of uh, this very steep slope is going to be quite a challenge. And now, as easy as it would be to just simply draw a bridge across here and then uh, connect something up over this way, I want to keep it sort of somewhat within the realm of possibility where we can. I know over in Mesa we created uh, this giant bridge as well as a few other pretty massive bridges, but there's really no other way to get to this area of Mesa without doing that. And over here in Sacramento, we are able to get a decently sloped road up the side of this hill. So I'd like to keep whatever we do in terms of bringing cargo in uh, sort of along that line of realism. And so another thing that's going to be a interesting challenge is I think we're going to need to prepare the city for the amount of growth it's about to receive because once we connect up all of these resources up to the city, uh, this number will probably try to reach uh, similar numbers to the rest of the cities, so up about the 4,000 population range uh, we can see here with all the other cities. So I think we're going to want to clear some space out, maybe define some edges and boundaries of where we want the city to go, and pretty much just set this whole area up for success. And so one last thing I want to cover before we get into doing this project is it would be easy just to bring all the trucks up this single road, uh, but I think in terms of traffic and sort of having uh, the city's sort of best interest in mind, I think we need to have a second road coming in from somewhere or some other kind of connection to the city so that we're not funneling all of our resources, our buses, and our private transportation all on this single road. We've seen it get overloaded before and it's really a mess having just a single point of entry and exit into a city. And so moving on with that, let's get into uh, figuring out where all of this is going to start from. And so after thinking about it for a while, I think we have really two options that could work out pretty well for us. Our first option uh, comes from Stockton and this cargo port that it currently has. I think perhaps we could have all the resources get unloaded to a truck stop. Maybe it could be a second truck stop just sort of off to the side over here or something and then essentially we can bridge or tunnel under all of this uh, land here. We'll cross the river and then maybe somewhere over here we can figure out where we can sort of work our way slowly up the side of this hill and then we'd end up coming in somewhere behind this airport. And then the other option I think is coming from this distribution center. Uh, I know we'd probably be pretty much backtracking uh, a lot of what we're moving but coming from here either by train or by truck uh, coming across this huge flat area up here and then something similar over here figuring out where we're going to cross over the river and then get into the city that way. Alright and so after some time thinking through this I think we are going to bring our resources into this Stockton port a uh, tunnel under all of this land will bridge over to this road here and then I think we'll uh, just follow it along until we get somewhere in this area where we can 
sort of start to work and wind our way around this little mound up to the up to the top of this hill and then I think honestly right here behind the airport would be a good spot to have sort of our uh, truck station area because I think it's just gonna be one mixed line coming from Stockton to here and then once we're over here we can distribute those lines to different areas of the city as needed so in order to get that started let's start by I think we'll turn this area into the new truck stop area as it provides a good amount of room and we shouldn't really have many issues coming into here all right and so I think we can just get this placed right in here it'll line up with the intersection on the right I think this looks pretty good we'll just have to extend a collision tile to over here so that this looks a little more natural in the area and I really don't think there's much detailing we'll have to do uh, besides maybe just paving over a nice squared area for it but once we do that we can then figure out where our roads are gonna go all right and so now that we have this we can figure out where we're going to exactly sort of branch off of the city and then come across here now one thing I want to keep in mind is I don't want our new road and this road connecting because if we make this connection people might start to use this road to then come over and in although I guess that's not really bad we might actually do that because that might just help ease uh, some potential future traffic from coming on this road and just help spread things out a tiny bit more and so I think pretty much what we'll do is we'll grab a road and we'll see if we can just come right off of this intersection here and probably come out somewhere over this way that doesn't look too terrible. I mean, we are tunneling under a huge amount of land, so it is going to be quite an expensive project. I think the only thing we might do is change the look of the tunnel. And now that we've come out on this side, we can just simply grab this, come across the river. I suppose we could maybe get a little bit closer just to this matches and looks a bit nicer but then now with this road we can just simply do that and then we can finish the connection over here by connecting to that road uh, I think that should we don't want traffic lights there I think we'll just have this be a stop sign and then we can continue to upgrade this road Pretty much following all along the riverside until this intersection all right so now we have this road rebuilt coming along here and really I think we can delete this road and turn this intersection into where we're gonna break off and start to make our way up the side of this hill and so pretty much with this we're aiming for um, a pretty realistic way to get up here so we're gonna try to avoid doing the steepest slope possible it will get pretty steep in some areas most likely but we're not just gonna simply drag this like up to here and go with that just because we can we'll try to keep it somewhat reasonable as we continue to climb up this mountainside all right, and so we finally have this road built with as little damage to the existing terrain that we could manage, really. This was a huge hill that we had to climb, and we tried to keep the slope realistic. Uh, I think for the most part, uh, we did one tick below the maximum uh, threshold. I think if we went any lower than that, this would end up being a lot longer, but... We'll come through, we'll touch up the terrain, make this look a lot more natural in some areas, and then from there we can flatten out an area for our new truck station area, and then I think we'll begin to prepare the city for its expansion. Alright, now after some 
final changes to the terrain, we have this nice road that comes up and twists up and around until we get up to here. So really next it's just grabbing our terrain tools, flattening the terrain, and giving ourselves a nice flat area right on level with the airport, pretty much right in this area. And so we'll continue to bring this road up and over right until we get in the general area that we need to. And so we'll start with these two uh, stations here, and then I think we'll try something maybe a little different and do sort of our own custom unload area. All right, and so I think this is going to be the road layout that we're going to use here. And then we can just simply have a truck unload stop right here along this one-way loop. And that should pretty much cover everything we need to. We'll just connect up this road. And then I think we should be good in terms of that because all the trucks will come. They'll unload at this unload stop. We'll do some details to make it look a little bit nicer here. And then all of our main trucks heading into Sacramento will come to these two truck stops and come in and throughout the city from there. And so lastly, all we should have to do is bring this road around and we'll find a good spot to connect it up. I think... We have two options really. We could either come around and connect it to the end of this road here, coming by our airport, or we could bring it around and connect it somewhere along this street, which I think is probably our better option. So we'll bring this through and around like so. We'll actually keep this above ground while we do it, since we are going to come back through and redo a good portion of the city so that the town has space to expand. But we'll build this road. That should provide us adequate access to the rest of the city. And I think first we'll prepare a bunch of the land around the city and sort of within the city. And then we can start to connect up these lines and we'll finish it off by adding some light details to our truck station. So first of all, let's grab our flatten tool and we're going to want to flatten out a good portion of this area. And this is largely just for a major portion of land removal. Uh, we're not going to keep all of this flat, but once we smooth this out, it'll start to look a little bit better. And pretty much the aim of what we're doing with all this is we're just providing areas for the city to expand to because this is in a pretty mountainous area, and as you can see here, the sort of generated roads and everything gets really funky on really rough terrain, and this city doesn't really have anywhere to really stretch its legs, uh, such as, like, Winston-Salem has spread all the way out into this area. You can see we've done it a little bit with Albuquerque by flattening out some portions, slowly working up the hill. Uh, this just keeps it so that we also don't have any choke points anywhere in the city uh, with maybe a single road that goes up to a whole new section of development on the side of a steep hill. And so I think really a lot of this area is going to get flattened. I think we're going to try to maybe do something here and then up here we'll just make sure this gets smoothed out and uh, maybe make a few extra connections just so that the city's a little bit more intertwined with itself. Alright, so that's now this area pretty flattened out, or at least smoothed enough to where the city can develop up here uh, in a pretty reasonable fashion. Next area I think is going to be here. I think we'll just bump up the land along here and we'll get a little bit of a cliffside uh, sort of over here. And we definitely don't want that road. I think we'll just come through and We'll lock this road, I think pretty much up until uh, this curve up here. So we'll allow the city to build intersections pretty much up until this curve. 
but then coming back into this area, we'll just grab a nice uh, sort of even elevation and just drag that out a little bit. We'll want to sort of vary the elevation a little bit here so that we do get some natural variation in the landscape. And so I think something that maybe falls more along the lines of this might look good. So we'll just have to come through, we'll smooth it all out, we'll smooth out some of the areas up here as well. But once this is smooth, we should end up with slopes that are low enough for the city to build on, but also still provides a nice edge uh, where the city can't sort of go crazy afterwards. Alright, and so now the city has this little area to build on, and we can already see uh, some expansion out into this area. So lastly, we're just going to smooth out this area down here and this area up here, and that'll pretty much be it for the uh, modifications that we make around this city. Alright, now that we've gone through and pretty much made everything look about as good as it can with the landscaping, we can now come in here and think about where we're going to place our truck stops. And so really the city only has maybe two, potentially three really defined areas for goods. And I think the first one's going to be machines to this area. And then the other one is going to be food over to here. I think maybe you could argue that goods can be covered by this one here, or at least goods and tools. Uh, and then we can have one last one on this road for construction materials and fuel. And then I want to try to get a road connection in here so that we can cover this area with this truck stop. Since this whole area up here needs food, it would just make sense if we could potentially get a road in here that would uh, just connect these two areas. And so it seems we can get a road in here. It's not the best, but it is a connection that is probably much needed throughout the city. So there's not just one way up to this area. And if we take a look, we do cover a small section of the buildings here. Uh, I don't expect it to really cover everything, but once this city expands, we'll most likely be redoing our stops anyway. Alright, and so let's take a look at our destinations layer and see how things are sort of shaking up over here. See if maybe we need to adjust anything. And it seems like this road's getting a fair amount of use. I think we might at some point curve this road and have it attach maybe more over here in this direction. So maybe there is a chance that a few cars would take this road up and over. But I think what's going on now is fine. The only thing that I'm not a huge fan of is we did end up turning this bridge into a very in-demand uh, route. And I think that's because we've pretty much made this way obsolete if you were going between Modesto and Stockton. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but... This is built for a lot more throughput than what it's currently receiving as pretty much only people going up to Sacramento or coming from Sacramento are taking this road now. And also it's going to start blocking up some stuff here. So maybe if we can just reroute this bridge to come across maybe more this way so it's a little bit more out of the way and then... I'm not sure if we'd want a roundabout, or we could just turn this into a stop sign and see what happens. But I think we're going to rebuild this bridge at a slightly different angle to maybe discourage some people that are coming from this side of Modesto uh, on this road. So maybe we can encourage them to take this road again. Uh, we'll see, but maybe there's also an opportunity to straighten out this road a bit more and make that connection easier as well. Alright, so now let's grab our road again and we'll bring it out to here. And I don't don't remember if we raised it up to allow boats through, although we do have to actually. So we'll just come through, do this, and then we should be able to just bring this straight across and 
into this intersection. And now I think we will turn off the traffic light because I think it would make sense that this road uh, connecting this one would either be just a simple stop or maybe even a yield. But we'll see how that uh, helps out with some of the traffic and then coming over to this direction. I think we can definitely afford to streamline this road a bit more to also help encourage more people to come this way. And so here we'll simply just grab this road and let's see if we can curve it around to connect up to here. And it looks like we can. The road is maybe a little steep in some areas, but we could probably just delete some of this and replace it again. And that should smooth out the curve a bit more. We can always raise up the road to make the slope less severe as well. So we'll end up with something like this. We'll smooth it out like so, and then reconnect our roads, and hopefully that should help out as well. All right, and so now that we've redone these areas, let's redo this road so that we can get uh, maybe a little bit better road connection that prioritizes our vehicles more than private transportation. And so we'll curve this around. We'll keep it pretty much flat as we come through here. Uh, we'll get it to about this point, and then we should be able to come straight across once we get it to snap. And then we'll bring it up just high enough to allow boats through and build it like so. And so maybe we might end up seeing a few people take this road up into Sacramento. Uh, I'm not too sure if we'll really see that until the city maybe expands out this way, which is probably unlikely to happen due to the terrain. But who knows, we can, well, we probably will uh, flatten out more of this area. And maybe we'll, we'll flatten out enough to allow the city to sort of build next to our truck area. But we'll smooth this out, make this look natural again, and then we can come through and set up our lines. Alright, and so I believe we have every resource coming into this harbor here, so hopefully our boats will be able to continue managing it since they seem like they're not really carrying much anyway. But now all we'll have to do is find our nearest truck depot, which I suppose is this one still for the area of Stockton. And I think we'll just end up going with this simple uh, all cargo truck since this can carry everything and it can split it into multiple compartments if needed. So I think that's good for just a general overall line that goes from the harbor up to Stockton. I think we'll get 30 trucks since we'll be pretty much hauling the entire uh, needed resource amount of the city up there. So we'll start here in Stockton and then we'll come to this unload stop and thankfully that routed correctly. So then all we should have to do is just say in Stockton pick up these six resources and then up here it's already automatically unloading all of them. And then we can get a road depot up here, which we probably should have done anyway, but we'll find our road depot. We'll make sure it's aligned with everything that we need, and we'll get this placed right at the end of this road. So then we'll need a line for machines, which we'll go with some variety now that we're up here. We'll go with this a flatbed truck and this one will only have three trucks that will go from here right down the street to this stop for machines. We'll grab three more uh, slightly different flatbed trucks and this one will bring food and machines uh, from this platform over to this stop. And the next line we'll need is from here to here, and this one, I believe, was goods and tools. So we'll set this up properly. 
And then lastly, we just need two more lines. We'll get one uh, tanker line for fuel. This one will only have two vehicles as it'll probably be a pretty low demand line. So this is purely fuel. And then we'll get one more line that does construction materials. All right, and so now all of our trucks are starting to uh, flow out to their respective stops and it's going to take a while for our new fleet of trucks to make it all the way over here into Stockton and uh, into Sacramento so it's going to take a while for that whole line to update really. We can uh, take a look here at the line and we can see the rate is at 560 and that's just general resources coming to Sacramento so I believe if we wanted to get this correct we could just add up all these numbers and at a very quick first glance it seems like we're almost there already so we maybe want to add a few more trucks to that line but I think we'll let this go and start to uh, space out on the line itself and then we'll come back and adjust things once resources are flowing and so while we wait for that Let's just add a few small details up here. I don't think we're going to do anything too crazy or big. Uh, we'll pretty much just pave this inner area, uh, maybe fence it off, add some resources, and that'll be all for this. Alright, so I think this will be all that we do in this area. I think there's definitely more we could add, but for now I think this uh, suits this area quite nicely. We can now come through and protect this with a collision tile. And then I think we'll quickly look over the map, see if anything's been building up or changing since we've last been around. And then we will end that video off here. So real quick, before we get to that, we can see these trucks slowly starting to make their way up the hill. Uh, let's get a quick look at what that looks like. I tried to give uh, the trucks some space as they uh, weave around this road. I'd imagine that there'd probably be some sort of safety buffer. I think maybe in the future we'll come through and actually add a guardrail along here, much similar to how we did on a road much earlier in this series. But I think it's cool to finally see trucks using this road. And... Hopefully once it's functional, it'll be a very valuable route to us. And also coming back to this area, it seems like we were able to dissuade people from using this bridge too much at least. I'm not sure if it was the stop sign or maybe the change in the angle of the bridge, but we do have a good amount of cars coming to take this roundabout yet again. Uh, we'll just have to keep an eye on it because maybe things are going to start building back again, uh, especially at this intersection. So. We'll just have to keep an eye on that as we continue to go through this. Alright, so I just went over the whole map with this street traffic layer on, and San Jose and Downey seem to be our two uh, sort of most needed attention areas. So let's maybe come in here and take a look at what we can do. And so we continue to have very high demand between these two cities. I think maybe we can add a road that comes along this way and we can create a connection through this and this will be sort of another connection across the city so everyone's not getting funneled onto this single road and honestly that might also help out with our downy traffic as we have a ton of cars waiting to come up this way through the city or even coming into the city and so everyone's essentially getting funneled in this direction through the city. So if we add another connection, probably by this road here, we can sort of split that so the lower area of the city can connect to San Jose through this road, and then the upper area of Downey can connect to San Jose through this road. And so I think we'll start off with that, and the first thing I see is this, a really bad street connection that we'll want to get rid of. And we end up with yet another one right here. And potentially even a whole bunch in this area. But I think we'll focus on this road here as this seems to be 
the main road that connects these areas. We could even come in here, delete these two segments of road, and sort of turn this to conform it into the new main road. And so pretty much we should be able to just come through here, upgrade this throughout the rest of the city until... I suppose here's a pretty good stopping point for that. We will, however, redo these connections. And then we'll simply come through and lock this road so that we don't get any more unnecessary attachments to our road. So now that we have this road clear coming out of Downey, let's head over to San Jose and see if maybe we can find where we're gonna come out and connect to this area of the city. And I think really one of the only options we have is this intersection here, as if we come over to this area, we're just too close to this road for it to really change much. I suppose it wouldn't really be a bad idea to attach this intersection, but I think coming over this way, we'll be able to split San Jose a little bit better in terms of where our traffic will flow. So we'll just come through like so, and then we'll basically come up and follow the edge of the map around. We'll go around our existing fuel refinery. And so now that we're starting to get to this point here, let's see if maybe we can find a pretty good spot to come down in. We sort of have a natural valley there, but it might just slope a little too much for us to get anything that looks uh, realistic at all. So I think we'll have to pull it back a good bit farther. And even then, while this isn't terrible, this is still a pretty steep slope for us to be coming in through. And so I think if maybe we just lowered the road a bit, it's still a little bit steep inside of that tunnel, but I think we can build that segment of road and then we should be able to just connect in just like this and we should start to see some cars take this road if what we did is good enough to change the demand. And so at a quick glance with our destinations layer on, we can see this number quickly rising as cars start spawning in and routing onto this road. Uh, we can see the numbers over here starting to go down. These numbers are actually higher than they were before, so that's maybe something to take note of. So this road is definitely something that's needed for the area. Uh, hopefully it's enough to bring more people in through this way instead. So we'll leave this to sort itself out with the new connection. That might actually free up a lot of these roads. Uh, so before we do some more invasive restructuring of the city, let's see if this connection is really worth it first. And that might also help over here in San Jose where if we take a look at the traffic layer, we do have a lot of cars stuck on this road here, presumably trying to get to either this road or this road to get out of the city. So then coming over to this section of highway, we have a very large demand of cars coming in from Winston-Salem and this is almost backed up all the way to the city and really I think it's just due to the fact that this turned into a traffic light that our roads are getting really bad so maybe it's just a matter of finding a new intersection and we have a few that might work so we have uh, this one that's sort of a roundabout on top so we might try to go with this. This one at least allows all the cars to continue flowing and I don't think there's any traffic lights in this design. We also have a slightly different one if we can get it to pop up or fit anywhere, but this is a much similar uh, construction as the other one that involves a roundabout and I think it just keeps the cars moving really. So. I think in order to get this to fit, we'll be doing a good amount of demolishing in this area. And so it seems like to get this to fit in here, we'll have to delete a good 
portion of all of these roads, as this will probably be a pretty large intersection. We'll have to draw this back. And I think we'll have to come all the way back to this intersection here for this road. We'll delete all this. And then we can start to delete our highway connection. And it seems like we can get this placed at a pretty good angle if we just simply do this. And we'll have to pull back the highway on both ends. But once we do that, I think that will be this intersection done. We'll just have to lock all of it so that's protected. Although it looks like it mostly is. So we'll just pull back these segments of highway now. We'll do it all the way back to this point here. And then over here we'll do it back just a bit farther. We'll grab our highways. And then it should just be as simple as dragging these roads to connect. Uh, we'll come back through and smooth out the terrain here because we did have to uh, remove some of it to get this highway to work. But then on this end, we should be able to bring these straight across and these should connect just fine. So the only thing I don't really like about this is that the bridge construction for this interchange is slightly different than what our highway bridge construction is so I'm not too sure how to fix that without just redoing this whole area which I don't really want to do uh, because this is very clean and it'd probably be pretty hard to get it to snap like this again so we'll just leave that we'll smooth the area out around it and then we'll remake all of our road connections and I think we'll end the video off there alright and so now that we have this made, we'll have to keep an eye on it to make sure traffic flows correctly through here. I think everything should be good though. I don't see anything really that would cause issues. Maybe it looks like this has traffic lights on, which we don't want, because these would technically be merges. But I think other than that, we're good to leave this. We'll monitor this to see if this actually helps out with the flow of traffic. If not, we'll probably have to do something with this road uh, that connects San Jose to Winston-Salem, sort of just as sort of a country road, uh, just to split the demand a bit more between the two cities. But even if we can't do that, I'm sure there's other workarounds. Uh, we do have our boat line that is working pretty well. We just recently added more boats off camera to appease the passenger numbers, but everything seems to be functioning pretty well around here. So with that, I think that's going to be all for this video. So if you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.